Hi, Shoal from Jiffy here with a quick overview of the IKEA gift registry system. On the homepage here, you can see you can find a registry, you can manage an existing registry, or create a registry. So right from this page, you can log in if you have an existing one already, or create one by connecting through Facebook, or putting in an email, which I'll do here. After a quick sign up process, it'll take us to the main event page where I can set my event. So I can select a type of event. As you can see, each time I select a different event, it'll show a different image for that event. In this case, I'll select a baby shower. I can select the date, the number of guests that are coming, put in my personal information. I can easily add a co-registrant if I wanted to and simply hit done. Now this will take us to our list, as you can see is empty. I can at all times select settings, so I can always update my information, my co-registrant's information about the event. I can put up personal pictures. I can easily set a unique URL with my name, so that way it's very easy to share with my friends and family. I can edit the welcome message. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some gifts. So directly from here, we have access to the IKEA catalog. You can see the top gifts for this event. So I can, for instance, click on this high chair, see the different pictures, read about it, select how many I want, and add to registry. Then I can go into category. For instance, here, we can go into children's IKEA. I can select the subcategory in here. So if I want to start with some toys, I can click on an item, read about it, add to registry. If I want to pick up the pace a little, I can always add anything very easily directly from the list. Then for instance, if I wanted to add a crib, the nice thing about the registry is that I can add items that are more expensive as well because my friends and family can, can chip in any amount for any item. So let's add this crib here. And then you can go on adding items from the catalog. We'll add a few more here. You can manage your list, so you can always review your list, easily update the quantity. You can delete an item. You can see gifts that were purchased, gifts that are still remaining. And then when I'm finished and I'm ready, I can simply hit share list. I can copy paste the link and send it out. I can post it to my timeline, or I can even put in email addresses right from this platform and send it straight from here. Purchasing a gift on the IKEA gift registry. As you can see, Sarah Smith shared her list with me. You can see in the URL her name here. I could also go to the homepage and search for her by name and find her in the list. I can review her entire list of gifts that she selected. She's added, added more since. I can sort them according to price or category. I can see all items or think only items that have been purchased or items that are remaining, making it very easy to find items that are still available to purchase. I can also print the list if I want to take it in store and purchase an item for them in the store and not online. Any item can be purchased at whole, as you see, gifted, or can be chipped in any amount. If I did want print the list and take it in store, I find the item, I purchase it, and then I can easily go here, select purchase in store, and that'll mark it as purchased and send a notification to the list owner saying that that gift was purchased for them in store. I can go in and I can select any item here. So for instance, here's an item that I want to purchase. I will add it to cart. I will continue shopping a little, buy something else. I can go back to this crib. It's a little pricey. So I can select chip in. It'll ask me how much I'd like to chip in. Let's say $5. I'll click chip in. And then I'll add it to my cart as well. So I have the two items, the chip in and the full item. And I'll select checkout. I can review my cart here, edit or remove any of the items. And I'll proceed to checkout. I can put in a nice message here. So I'll put in a quick congrats. Who is it from? I can fill in my name and email address. Or in this case, I'll simply click connect with Facebook. It'll pull all of my information from there. That's as easy as possible. And then I'll check out. I can use PayPal or a credit card. I can select credit card. Very easily put in my credit card number. Put 
put in the, the information here. I can have it remember my credit card details. The so next time I want to purchase, I can do that very easily. It'll ask me for a password if I wanted to, for next time I want to pay. And save and pay. So that password now allows me the next time that I come to make a purchase, I'll be able to literally with one click, it'll remember my information. And the next time I make a purchase on the registry, I'll be able to make that very easily without entering my information. I have the confirmation. And of course, I'll get the receipt and the confirmation in my email as well. And that's how you purchase a gift on the gift registry of IKEA. Hi, Shoal from Jiffy here with a quick review of the IKEA Portland gift registry mobile app. As you can see, I have it right here on my phone. It's compatible for iOS and Android. The home screen allows me to log in and easily create a registry, just like I did on the previous demo on the web. I can connect through Facebook or using an email. In this case, I'll log into an existing registry. I'll use the same one that we created before. Put in the email and password. And I'll be able to log in and basically sync with my registry that I created on web and be able to manage it from the app as well. As you can see on the home screen here, I see some quick stats, how many days I have left till the event, how many gifts are on my list, how many have been purchased, the monetary value of my list. Right from the home screen here, I can share my list easily through social networks, email, SMS, and I can add gifts as well. Straight here from the menu, I, can, I have all my different options. I can easily add a gift. If I wanted to, if I'm in the store, I can scan a barcode. So I simply hit scan barcode. My camera turns into the barcode scanner. I simply point at the barcode and it pulls up the product. I can see it, say how many I want. Let's add that to my list. And then let's go back home. Let's add a different a gift in a different way. If I wanted to enter an item number, if I'm in the store, or for instance, I'm sitting at home on the couch with the IKEA catalog on my lap, I can simply type in the article number load it, and that's just another way that I can find another item and add it very easily to my list. At the same way, I can also browse the catalog directly here from my app. So I can go through the IKEA categories, find anything that I'm looking for. So let's go to IKEA's children, and let's go into toys. As you can see here, the items that I've added are obviously marked. Go in, I can see the different pictures, read about it, and add it very easily to my list. I can go back to the menu. I can also snap a picture of an item that I want very easily and just put in the product name and the price myself. I can manage my list so I can see all the different products I have. I can filter it by price, by status. I can share my list directly from the screen as well. And I can go into any item and I can read about it. I can update how many I would like. If someone purchased it for me already, I can mark it as purchased. Put in the name of the person that purchased it and mark it right in my list. I can share this specific item. If I want to send it to a specific friend who would want to buy this item for me, I can do that as well. And I can delete it from my list. Also in the menu, we have help options, FAQs, to chat with our support team, to call our registry expert. We have infos about the different stores. And then when I'm ready to, to receive, redeem my gifts, I simply hit get my gifts. And any amount that's been purchased for me at any time, I can create a voucher for myself to redeem those gifts. You simply click on the button, request the voucher. In this case, the voucher is here already. And once I've walked into the store and I'm ready to pick up my gifts, I simply click on the voucher. I take my item. I go to the checkout and simply show the screen and easily check out for all those items. I can do that at my own convenience. I can make sure it's the right time for me to do it. If I decided I changed my mind, I can obviously have the flexibility to select anything else that I would like. And that is a quick review of the IKEA Portland gift registry mobile app.